name is Ivana and today is obviously becoming Paneer Monday because I'm going to do groceries right now and I want to make well a little knockoff of the Peppy Paneer pizza also my hair is straight again what do you like better straight hair curly hair I like both like sometimes I like my curls sometimes I like straight hair sometimes I like my the 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 middle part I like the side part sometimes just you know, you need change in your life. Okay, let's do groceries. Wait, 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 before we go, I need to eat something because otherwise I will buy the whole store. So these are just rice crackers with some nut butter. Nom, 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 nom. Mm. Food, huh? I'm so hungry. Yos, got the milk for the paneer. I have to show you this. So in the Netherlands, we have special uh, candy which is available during the holidays so you have special Santa Claus candy but also special Christmas cookies look at these it's usually these decorated cookies with the sprinkles and everything and I actually really want to buy these cinnamon stars looks so good this, this is very very typical for the holidays like the sprinkle cookies and also yeah you can find more in here this is sprinkled chocolate actually so good what to take what to take i got the super traditional ones because then i have just regular butter cookies but so ones with chocolate yes back home boiling the milk boiling the milk and in the meantime i forgot i have leftover uh red lentil pasta from yesterday yes no shadow like this nom 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 well i'm going to make this a healthy peppy paneer pizza because is the milk boiling no because I'm going to use gram flour for the crust which is a lot healthier than wheat well actually it's just better for my stomach but also gram flour has more protein than wheat so mm. Mm. this is so good man I'm happy I discovered the red lentil pasta mm. I was literally standing next to the pan I hate my life and ah, why why you do this milk why does anybody have a life hack to stop this from happening to my life i hate you milk i hate you i love paneer but i hate boiling milk f you milk f you i really really want my paneer that's why i put up with this ish like ah, i hate it this time by the way i'm going to use apple vinegar i think i'm supposed to use white vinegar YOLO, let's just try this because someone told me that you get a lot softer paneer with vinegar um, Also, some of you guys have told me to rinse the paneer after it uh, Well, no, when I'm when I'm draining the whey and everything to drain the, the sour taste of the lemon or the vinegar I actually like that sour taste. Am I weird? I don't know. I like sour foods and stuff <sighs> Hate it Hate it. I looked up a different recipe now for vinegar and it's supposed to be like one liter of milk, one tablespoon of vinegar. vinegar. We'll see. I'm not gonna wait until the milk boils again. Like really, let me just put this in one and two, a curdle. Do it. Oh, it does smell a little bit different than uh, them with lemon juice it's starting to curdle not really i think i i really need to use a lot more vinegar look it was way better when i used a little bit more i'm gonna use more you know how i roll when i cook like this that's why i don't do recipes <laughs> we'll see how this works out yeah curdle some more for me baby yes that's how i like to see it Alrighty, this is starting to look good makes me happy do you really need to wait until the milk boils or does the milk just have to be hot I really need a life hack for that milk boy. Like I cannot handle that ish. Like the smell and my whole cooking plate getting disgusting. It's just annoying. Okay, I think I can drain it now. Yeah. All right. Do this. Mm, 
Once, I literally poured boiling hot soup over myself like this. If you think I'm a good chef, no, <laughs> I'm not. I hurt myself, I made the kitchen filthy, like not even dirty, filthy. Okay, let me just put this here. Ugh. Need to, okay, this needs to cool, but I also want to throw it away. There we go. Let's cool for a bit. And in the meantime, I am going to make the chickpea flour pizza crust. Of course, I meant grab flour, not chickpea flour. I'm such a Dutchie. Okay, for the pizza crust, we need two cups of grand flour. There we go. One. I hope I have enough. Oh, maybe I should do half because the, the recipe says for four people, I would do half. Just one and then a half a cup of water. There we go. And then one teaspoon olive oil. I just Google the recipe. I hope this works. Okay, there we go. And you also saw how you treat recipes that don't do what I tell them to do or what I expect them to do. Okay, wait, let me just mix this. I need a spoon. Spoonsy. Okay. Well, okay. This looks good. I'm not sure if I made this recipe before, but I have made a gram flour pizza crust before and it was good. I liked it. Okay. Yeah, this one's good. This is nice. And then we make a pizza shape of this little dough ball. Welcome to Vanna's cooking show, by the way. I used to make um, lots of healthy recipe videos, but I didn't enjoy them anymore because I was so serious, you know, filming everything so beautiful. La, la, la. I like this vlog style a lot more okay because i can just talk to you and you know i don't have to pretend that i can actually cook because i can do something but i'm not that good to be very fair this is a quite a small pizza i need to make this thinner Rook. Oh no, 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 please don't tear a little pizza. See, this is what happens. I think this should be okay, I guess. And this is so filling, you have no idea. So, preheat the oven 190 degrees, 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Put the pizza. Because that's what the recipe says. But by now we know we cannot trust the recipes, right? Let me drain the paneer. Oh, it's still very, very hot. Ooh. Okay. So hot. Okay, I really need to rinse it with cold water because will it make it fast? I hope not. Okay. It's so hot. I actually really like my paneer last time. Like honestly, it was pretty much flawless in my opinion. Um, just that the edges were falling apart. That was the only thing. Okay, I think I drained it enough like this. And then I need a plate, of course. Mm. Oh, this is a tin plate. Do this. I can put you here. See, this vlogging still looks way more fun. Okay, drain it a little bit more. Okay, like this. And then, so what do you do with the cloth, actually? Okay, and according to you guys, I need to put something very heavy on top of it. Um, so I will use this juice. 
This is two liters or one and a half liters. Okay. Cool, little paneer, cool. There we go, a beautiful golden brown, golden yellow, gram flour crust. Right now I'm going to make the, the tomato sauce, which is basically just tomato puree. This with some salt and some uh, garlic powder. Yep, there we go. Now we put this on the pizza crust. I made the sauce, the tomato sauce, way too salty. So I'm gonna keep the other ingredients plain. There we go. Next thing, shredded cheese. We have really, really good shredded cheese in the Netherlands. Oh. Netherlands is really the cheese country. Well, I think with Switzerland. Oh, and with France. France also has amazing cheese. It is time to unwrap the paneer again. Let me see. Oh no, again, I did not press it really well. Here? Oh, mmm, mmm. That's really good. Mmm. I'm not a good presser. Look at this. It's crumbling, but mm. for the paneer pizza, it doesn't make it's okay. Mm. I could actually just take a chunk like this and then crumble it on the pizza. How about that? Sometimes I'm amazed by my brilliance. <laughs> yeah, no. Look at that. Also, I want to add goat cheese. The thing is, the peppy paneer pizza has chili. But I usually don't eat chili because it doesn't really fit my yogi lifestyle. Chili is very stimulating and makes me an angry person. Okay. Just gonna add goat cheese. Um, goat cheese. If you've never had goat cheese in your life, my gosh, you are missing out. Goat cheese is simply the best. No, and you need a soft goat cheese that melts. Yes. Alrighty. Well, the oven is ready. I am going to put the paneer pizza in for, I think, what shall we do? Like five minutes or something? Go five minutes just for the cheese to melt. Yes. Okay, the pizza should be finished. Let's see. Where's my little monkey? Maybe two more minutes. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Okay, it should be really ready now. Let's see. Yes. Pizza! Look, look! Your girl made Peppy Paneer pizza! <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Wait, let me, uh, let me cut it and then we shall try! So this crust is a little bit drier and a lot more dense than a regular pizza crust, but still... Oh! 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 Mmm! Mmm, so good. Mmm, I think you do really need to add in the goat cheese or whatever you like, other stuff. Mmm, totally satisfies my craving for pizza without, you know, being unhealthy. Mmm, ah, <sighs> food. I can eat. Nom 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 nom. Mm hmm. I just edited a video. Stefan is very sick again, so we're just gonna go to bed. Removed it. Okay, so just soy sauce. Also, some of you guys have asked me to share recipes, but honestly, is if you would like to hang out with me tomorrow again, click that subscribe button. And if you like this video, you can put a thumbs up. It's up to you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.